Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. This is part two of this uh, 10 part unboxing. It's just like this massive uh, collection of comics. And um, this one is going to be a mystery video. Um, I won this lot on uh, Heritage Auctions where it was 60 magazines and um, they said, you know, they showed some examples and I was like, oh, if, if it's if those are the examples of what's inside, there is some major value because one of the books that they showed, you know, I, I kind of know it. <laughs> I actually have it already, but it's a one to two hundred dollar based on if it's a low grade, maybe to up to six hundred dollar book. OK, the whole lot of 60 magazines was one um, hundred and forty dollars. That's with the buyer's premium. So I was like, man. <laughs> That one book pays for the, the rest of the, the 59 um, magazines. So I was like, sure, why not? Um, the other mystery thing is um, just to kind of be a bit of a teaser, kind of build you up to the big uh, heritage one. I'm going to do a Comic Tom mystery mail call. So this is a Comic Tom mystery unboxing here. Uh, hopefully there's some good stuff from Comic Tom. I don't know. Sometimes there's good stuff, sometimes there's not. I mainly go because uh, I mainly buy their stuff to support them. Uh, I like supporting other comic creators, uh, you know, uh, and also I like their exclusive covers. So um, this one they had, uh, I think it's like Charlie Kirkham or yeah, uh, cover like it's like uh, in Invincible. So this is kind of a really nice, actually really pops. <laughs> this is like a really great cover. Um, so that's Invincible, like, uh, I think it's a reprint of number one. And it's kind of busting through a monster. Okay, and then there's, like, they always have some kids-related one. So this is Create a Tune, Scoot, the Scoot, yeah? <laughs> the Scoot way? Sorry, <laughs> I'm reading it backwards. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of interesting. From Scout Comics. And this is like some variant. I don't know what this is. But it looks kind of interesting. Some like, uh, it looks like some Viking kind of related thing. And then there's a Deadpool print. So so. <laughs> so so looking print. And then we got. Uh, oh, Fable. Number 46. Fables. These have actually kind of nice art. Um, I forget who did the covers, but it's they're quite nice. I think Adam Hughes did some of the covers for Fables. You can correct me in the comments below. And then a really great Vampirella variant. This is kind of a nice, nice one. And last but not least, another like little print. It looks like the Mandalorian. It's kind of cool. And that's the Comic Tom, <laughs> Comic Tom portion of this uh, unboxing. Now we'll get into the magazines. They're going to be way more cool. Uh, I have no idea what they are. I only know one of them, but I'll show you. It's like two, two collections of magazines just like this. So it's going to be quite a lot of stuff and hopefully some cool things. I have no idea what it's going to be. I'm kind of disappointed that I wish they were all bagged and boarded. I can tell that they aren't. <laughs> so I'm a little bit disappointed on that. I would have thought they would bag them, board them all, but they didn't. They sent them pretty raw. And it's a little bit challenging to get them out. Let's see if I can do it without a tape hole. I'm sort of worried about this tape. I'm going to try to bend the tape in so it doesn't catch the books. Wow, really challenging to get this out. Okay. One is bagged and boarded. Well, that's good. <laughs> One is. Yes, that. Okay, wow, managed to get them all out. Okay. So the first one, I don't know anything about. <laughs> I don't know if this is a great comic or not. I'll have to look it up later. Is um, Agassi? No, I'm not even sure what number it is. Number something. Uh, Agassi? I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. 
Oh, this is kind of a cool one. The next one's cool. This is like, oh, and then there's two copies of it. So uh, this is Outdoor Life. These are those kind of cool magazines, ma men's magazines. Uh, you know, these are kind of interesting. They're from the late 60s. Some of them had pretty crazy covers. So these are like men's magazines. Uh, then we got another Outdoor Life. I don't know. Same, same issue. So kind of weird. And then we got a monster book. Oh, this is cool. This is actually, I like this one. Uh, monster Howls. Kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. It's not one I'm familiar with, but it's like probably a, like a, like a, like a ripoff of like um, famous monsters or something like that. And then we got one called Yell. I'm, another like one that I'm not familiar with. The condition on these books are kind of all over the place. They seemed kind of a little bit dirty and a little bit low grade. Uh, then we got, so this is what happens when you buy a, you know, a mystery box. Uh, then we got Wild. Again, another magazine I am not familiar with. Not necessarily wild about it, but <laughs> just to be silly. Um, yeah, I have no idea. These are really, really obscure books. They seem to be all from like the late 60s, early 70s. This is uh, Drag Cartoons from 1965. Another one I've never heard of. So this is kind of interesting, like just really random, <laughs> random stuff. And the next one, speaking of random, is a moder more modern book. Uh, this is The Little Mermaid. <laughs> like this is just such a weird thing to be mixed in here. Uh, the Little Mermaid you know, magazine. That's like a... Okay, that's a little strange. And then we got Red Book. I think this is like a like sort of like similar to like Playboy or something like that. Maybe I don't know. I have no idea. To tell you the truth, Red Book. I've I think I've heard of it. Not really familiar with it. Um, so this is Red Book. I don't even know what issue number it is. Okay. Oh, it says for young adults. So maybe not. Playboy like. <laughs> I have no idea. And then Field and Stream. Oh my goodness. These are like so many books that I would never buy. <laughs> like just not really interesting for me. And then we got Sports A Field. So just really odd magazines in here. I like the next one though. This one's a good one. And there's two copies of it. I don't know why it's like doubles of sort of weird ones. Castle Frankenstein. These are kind of cool. These are kind of like, um, these castles of Frankenstein are uh, kind of like um, famous monsters again, but uh, they were a little bit better in terms of the quality and stuff. And some really nice photo back cover as well. So there was two copies of that. So there's another one. And this one I actually have already. This is actually a really interesting one. Another castle Frankenstein. This one's in reasonable grade, actually. I'd say it's quite quite good and it has like a spider-man thing and they again two copies of it <laughs> i don't know why uh and actually i already have it so it's kind of weird because i actually collect castle frankenstein i don't have that many issues but i have a few uh, another castle frankenstein number 11 i didn't really say the other numbers but uh then we have another one with the joker cover so it looks like it has some tape on it. Hopefully that can come off. Uh, this is Castle Frankenstein number nine. It's an interesting cover. Uh, this is a good one. This is actually a really good one. Um, and I'll explain this one a little bit. This is Laugh Parade. And I'm going to open it up since they're all open anyways. So some of these have artwork by uh, Bill Ward. Let's see. They're they're sort of adult, <laughs> like sort of adult cartoons. I'll g like I'll give you a sense of that. So some adult cartoons, but uh, some of these feature uh, the artwork for um, from Bill Ward, and those ones can be quite sought after. I don't see any Bill Ward art in this, <laughs> so a little bit disappointing. But um, yeah, there's some really great ones that do feature some really kind of key artists uh this one doesn't seem to though i'd have to go through it a little bit more thoroughly but uh, definitely one that's interesting um 
And then we have, uh, this is another great book, Monsters to Laugh With. This is a short run ser live series, but another kind of highly sought series for the people that collect monster magazines, which is, I'm one of. I actually never had uh, Monsters to Laugh With before. So this is actually kind of a cool one. And it's the new first issue. I don't know if that means that it's actually the number one or if it's uh, another <laughs> volume, volume, you know, number one. So it's kind of cool. If it's a number one, that'd be great. Okay. And then the last one in that pile is the big one. This is the big one that I knew is um, a major key. This is Pussycat. And this does feature the artwork of Bill Ward and a bunch of uh, really, uh, you know, big artists uh, for these good girl art covers. Um, this one is, I would say, in a four, maybe five grade. So not too bad. This would be about two to three hundred dollars is my would be my guess for the price of this book. So this one by itself pays for the lot. <laughs> it's just and it's good to have it raw because I have a graded copy. And uh, now I can flip through it and actually see it. And it's impossible to find this online to read it. So I always wanted to read it. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of cool. So this is the reason I bought the lot. <laughs> and then we get a few more in that first stack. Oh, some more cartoons and gags. So again, these could feature the artwork from Bill Ward and some other uh, famous good girl art artists. That's kind of cool. And then another one from the same series, Cartoons and Laughs. These usually go for about $20 to $30 a piece, just so you know. Depending on the grade, you know, better grade obviously would go for more, but in that kind of grade. Then we have uh, Classic Comics. I'm not familiar with this one. And then last one is uh, some... Uh, some other, like, with Lobo on the cover. Who's who? In the DC universe. So kind of a cool little magazine at the end. It's never been opened. <laughs> kind of interesting. And then we'll get into the last stack. And these stacks, as I said, they're huge. Like, so that was 30 comics. Another 30. Let's see. Take off the tape. Make it a lot easier for myself. Okay, this one is a little bit bigger bag, so it's a little bit easier to get out. Okay, so let's see what's inside this last stack of books. So it looks like some Warren stuff. This is Spirit, and this is an actually really good grade. I'm just looking at it. It is very solid. I'd say like 8.0 kind of level. Kind of nice, nice book. Yeah, very nice. Spirit number six, and we got, looks like creepy, it's an early creepy, also in reasonably high grade, <laughs> nice, so this is a really uh, nice early creepy, kind of cool, kind of cool, those don't necessarily go for that much, strangely enough, uh, generally maybe around 10 to 15 dollar range, they're really not that expensive, sadly. Um, then we got Monsters in Movies. This is a kind of a cool werewolf uh, cover. Monsters of the Movies, I should say. Number four. That's kind of a cool, cool issue. Some nice monster magazines. Monsters of the Movies, another one. Uh, number five. So that's kind of cool. These are pretty great. I don't have those in my collection, so they're actually ones that I would have would have liked to have gotten. Uh, this is Science Fiction. Number six, really cool cover actually. Kind of like that one. So these are much. This is a much better lot actually. <laughs> I like this one. Oh, and the Savage, Savage Sword of Conan. That's kind of cool. And another Conan one, I think. No, Land That Time Forgot. This is a really great cover. I really like this one. This is kind of cool. And, and this one's bagged and boarded. This is Monsters of the Movies, number three. It's a really nice uh, cover. Really like that one. And 
sick. Oh, wow. That's, this is another rare book. I know this one. Um, this is with um, Ringo Starr on the cover. Just a really kind of a cool book. Kind of similar to like uh, Mad or like kind of that kind of style. And then we got some more sick. <laughs> uh, this is sick number 56. So these are kind of interesting. And you can see they're even kind of being pretty obvious about the Mad parody. There's yeah, Alfred E. Newman. And then we got um, Wonder Warthog. <laughs> no idea what this is. <laughs> kind of strange. And this one I can tell is Famous Monsters. Oh no, Spirit. Spirit number five. That's kind of cool. I have these already. All the spirits and stuff. But it's kind of still, still cool. And then Spirit number four. These are great Will Eisner uh, books. And then we got Spirit number two. So... Not too bad. And then we got cracked. Wow. <laughs> cracked. What is this? Doesn't say. Just cracked. Kind of an interesting cover. And then we got Monsters of the Movies. That's a nice mummy cover. Number six. So we've got a pretty nice little run of uh, Monsters of the Movies. And again, Monsters of the Movies, number seven. So a lot of monster magazines in this lot. I, I'm actually surprised how many monster magazines are in here. And then Monsters of the Movies, number eight. That's kind of cool. Oh, getting kind of chill. And then Spirit World. This is an interesting book. It's very... Very odd. <laughs> kind of interesting. Looks like 60s style. And Giant Cracked. Another Cracked magazine. I didn't have many Cracked as a kid. I didn't really... My parents didn't really like Cracked. So they didn't mind Mad, but they didn't like Cracked. <laughs> so, uh, but this is Giant Cracked. And then we have Big Daddy Roth. That's kind of interesting. Not familiar with some of these magazines, as I said. And just a few more. And then we have Drag Cartoons. Again, not familiar with any of these. <laughs> it's kind of weird. And then we have more Field and Stream. Not super interesting to me, but, you know, if you're interested in hunting magazines, maybe this would be kind of a good one for you. And then Sports a Field. Very odd mix of comics and mag uh, sorry, magazines, I should say. And last but not least, oh, this is kind of a cool one. Cool way to end it is a uh, Super 8 Filmmaker. And it's got Spider Man. That's a really cool one. This is from 1974. Kind of a cool end. And it has like a Kodak film ad on the back. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So, yeah, very interesting. Um, this is number volume two, number five. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so that was the two mystery boxes. <laughs> kind of interesting mystery boxes. Didn't know what to expect. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's stuff you don't normally see <laughs> because it's magazines. But um, yeah, some cool horror, some actually comic magazines which with the spirit. Um, those spirits are actually highly undervalued. Uh, you can pick them up so cheap, like five bucks each usually. Um, just really undervalued considering how great they were. Uh, you know, it's Will Eisner art, it's Morn Publishing, it's just really great stuff. Um, sadly undervalued. But um, definitely uh, a very cool, um, I think I got my money's worth. You know, I think the average value would be like 10 to, 10 to $15 for per book. So, you know, for 60 books, I didn't do too bad. Maybe $600 worth of stuff in here. So, Again, hope you liked the video. Uh, check out part three, which will have even more cool stuff. Um, more comics than magazines. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely check that out uh, when it comes out. So uh, again, thanks for watching. Bye for now.